A Wilmington family says their son died a hero while trying to protect a little girl from a brutal stabbing spree on Easter Sunday. And now that family wants justice for their son. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live at Wilmington Police Headquarters with how loved ones are remembering Andrew Moore. Matt. Well, the family of 24 year old Andrew Moore says he was a caring guy working to build his career as a musician. But instead of planning his future, his family says they're now planning his funeral. He didn't deserve what happened to him. He did not deserve it. Andrew Moore's family is remembering him for giving up his life to save the lives of two women and an 18 month old girl. He was born a hero. He lived his life as a hero and he died a hero. Police say the stabbing attack happened to Easter Sunday when this man, Cheyenne Calhoun, stormed inside an apartment here on North Washington Street in Wilmington, wielding a nine inch knife. Moore tried stopping Calhoun and was stabbed several times before the attacker then went after the little girl. Family says she was stabbed in the head. Her mom and grandmother also attacked. But today, those three are all recovering. They told Moore's family they would likely be dead if not for Moore putting up a fight. Any person that can stab a child, I, I just don't have any sympathy for. Today, a Bible lays on the front porch of the apartment, a cross hanging in a window. Friends of Moore now plan to remember him at a vigil Sunday at 5 o'clock at Brandywine Mills Park in Wilmington. God willing, he's in a better place now than where he came from. The only thing you prepare for in life is death, and that's what happened to him. And tonight that custody that tonight that suspect is in custody. Police do not yet know his motive. They're still investigating and seeking more information. We're live in Wilmington tonight. Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.